Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be doing a review of the newly released AMD Ryzen 9 9950X. So this is the flagship processor, the highest end of the new Zen 5 desktop CPUs that launched a couple weeks ago. So I've been using this one extensively as my daily driver now. I have replaced the 7950X with this. So if you guys are familiar with the channel and you watch my weekly live streams on Tech Thursdays, I am now streaming using the 9950X as the main system of choice, so we're going to be using that, but this is going to be a quick review. It's going to run through a whole bunch of random benchmarks that I did after testing it at stock, out-of-the-box settings. So with that being said, let's get into the benchmarks. Okay, so conclusion time here. So who is the Ryzen 9950X for? Basically, like I said in my 9700X review, anyone on a three or five year upgrade cycle, or even if the CP if the computer is older than that, the CPU is well behaved, out of the box, you can use any standard air cooler, as long as it's a large dual Finstack heatsink, such as the NHD15, which is what I use to test it. The Deepcool AK620 is very similar. Those coolers are totally fine with the 9950X. You can use a 360 AIO if you want. You could use a 420. It doesn't really matter. All of it will do fine with this CPU. The CPU doesn't generate too much heat, nor does it generate anywhere near as much heat as the Intel CPU, so just keep that in mind. The AM5 socket also has a long lifespan, so if you upgrade now, you can hold on to the computer for three, five years, and then whatever the last AM5 socket is, you can upgrade to that in the future. So there is platform continuity there, so that's really nice. And then for the gaming results, so it's about 5% faster than the 7950X. Keep in mind, all these tests are done at stock. 1% faster than 13900K, 4% slower than the 7950X 3D. So the 7950X 3D, the X 3D CPUs are still the best ones for gaming. It doesn't matter if we're talking about single CCD or dual CCD. The X 3D is still the way to go if you're looking for a gaming-centric build. That being said, compared to the typical Zen 4, so compared to the 7950X, the 9950X does use 12% less wattage while gaming, and then it's 15% less wattage at full load. So if you're doing a lot of rendering, that sort of thing, it's 15% less power. 
than the Zen 4 CPU that it's replacing. And then compared to Intel, it uses about 32% less power in gaming. So that is pretty significant. And then 21% less wattage than the 1300K at full load. So the other thing too, keep in mind that it is much harder to cool the Intel i9. So other than that though, the 950X, I think it's totally fine. Like if you want to build kind of an all-rounder PC that can basically do everything. It can game fine. It can stream fine. So the 950X is an interesting CPU because AMD did not have the luxury of using a newer node. So they had to use a new architecture without a node tree. So without that increase in transistor density, this is what they had to make do with. Kind of like what happened with NVIDIA back in the days of Maxwell. If you guys remember the 900 series GeForce cards, NVIDIA had to use the same 28 nanometer node. So going from the GTX 780 to a GTX 980, you know, there wasn't an insane bump compared to what we're typically used to when you get node changes. So think of it like that, like the Zen 5, going from Zen 4 to Zen 5 is kind of like that kind of transition. So you get better thermals, which translates into lower operating noise and operating temperature, so that's really nice. And then it's a little bit faster in gaming and it's double digit percent faster in applications. So overall, I think it's a moderate upgrade if you're someone who wants to actually upgrade to the 950X from the Zen 4 CPUs, the 750X. However, I don't really think that you really need to upgrade if you're already on Zen 4. I think you're going to be fine kind of waiting for the next generation. But like I said earlier, if you're still on a DDR4-based system, whether it's AMD or Intel, I do think that this CPU is worth considering if you want to finally make the jump to DDR5. DDR5 is not nearly as expensive as it was two years ago or even a year ago. So that's really nice to see that there is almost price parity now with DDR4. Um, but that those are my thoughts on the 9950X. I myself will continue to use it as my daily driver for the live stream PC. I think this CPU actually is an excellent choice for a live stream PC. So if you're somebody who wants one PC that can do everything, I feel like this is a good choice. Low noise, low maintenance, you don't need liquid cooling. It's quiet, it's, it's, it's a good package. So that's it for my review. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks.